Okay, radio fans, uh, back in the shack today. Uh, last time we brought you a couple of receivers that um, are highly sought after in the shortwave used market. Um, just a general look at the shack, uh, the main equipment bank here. We have the uh, Drake R7A. Uh, we'll turn that around a little bit. The Drake R7A with the RV75 VFO. On top of the Drake, uh, if you can see that, we have the Pulsar R30A and the smaller R30CC, which was the predecessor of the new model. Um, we showed you this before. This is the JRC uh, NRD301A, <coughs> topped off by the ARO3030 receiver. Um, and uh, down here, <coughs> you will see what we showed you last time, which is the Watkins Johnson 87. 18A MFP uh, receiver, but we have a new visitor uh, to the shack, and this is the Watkins Johnson 8711A, otherwise uh, known in the consumer version as the WJ1000A. Uh, I really can't say enough about this radio. Uh, I've always wanted one, and this is uh, has got to be, uh, aside from a few gripes, uh, probably the best receiver I've ever used. Uh, along with the uh, NRD301 up there and the Watkins Johnson uh, 8718 MFP. Um, simply put, the uh, WJ8711A provides the user with so many options that if the signal is there, you'll basically hear it. Um, let me just give you a brief tour of the uh, panel, front panel of the radio. This is the uh, memory scan bank. It's got a number of options. Uh, you can vary the uh, uh, view the all the channels, 100 memory channels here, and you can execute and store them. Very nice uh, bright uh, S meter. As you see, Watkins Johnson did a wonderful job with that. There is a headphone uh, volume control here, as well as a speaker. Uh, volume control. You have RF input, manual gain control, type of scan, RF input uh, control. Uh, this is the main bank uh, control right here. If you'll see, I'll get up a little closer. Uh, now in synchronous AM mode, and the frequency you're listening to is uh, Damascus, Syria on 12085. So uh, right now we're listening in synchronous AM, but I can switch that to regular AM. I can switch it to FM mode, CW, LSB, USB, and uh, independent sideband ISB. In each of these modes, uh, for example, LSB, you can then switch uh, over here to uh, the selectivity options, which are maximum 4 uh, uh, kilohertz in LSB, but switch back. We'll go back to synchronous AM, and of course back to the selectivity, and you can see that you can vary this by as much as 16 kilohertz up to 16 and down with DSP uh, filter bandwidth down to such a narrow uh, narrow figure that you can pretty much separate anything out. I'll go back up there. All right, we're back there. Uh, this is a special function switch. If you vary that, you have uh, RS-232 control, BOD, bandwidth selection again, AGC, uh, decay, decay rates, uh, and of course the byte test. Uh, you have noise blanker control here. And if you're in um, CW mode and you press the main control, CW mode gives you the passband tuning option on the upper uh, level. We'll get out of that. A lot of buttons on this receiver. Um, this is one heck of a radio. Here's the uh, keypad. You've got uh, up-down slewing. It's rather slow, uh, but here are your digit variations, and you can uh, vary the digits. I'm not going to tune off that frequency because I have Syria right there uh, coming in right now, fairly good and clear level, which is rare for Damascus. So there is a brief view of the uh, Watkins Johnson 8711A, uh, probably the uh, best receiver you can, you can own uh, aside from the other gold plate specials like the NRD301 um, and perhaps the Tentec RX340. 
uh, which is basically uh, based on the Watkins Johnson design. A uh, quick uh, other tour here of the uh, shack. We have the NRD 515 with the original speaker uh, and the uh, memory unit uh, as well. Uh, this is uh, an interesting one also, Alpha Delta, uh, Alpha Delta speaker unit, which uh, is a wonderful thing if you can find it, the Alpha Delta uh, variable response console. Down here we have the uh, Drake R8B next to the Drake R8. And here we have the Hammerlin HQ-180A, one of three uh, here in the shack. Now if we go over here, continuing this tour very quickly, here is a, another HQ-180A, but you'll notice that this uh, HQ-180 has been modified with an internally placed uh, LED readout for frequency readout with low and high frequency controls on the top. And if we open this door here, you'll see uh, probably one of the best mint condition HQ-180 AXs uh, that's uh, around these days. This has uh, hardly got a mark on it. I've had this for uh, about 20, 25, 30 years. And below that is uh, also one of the best condition uh, classics from Eddie Stone. This is the 830-7. slash all right, that'll do it for today. Uh, we'll show you some more stuff next time, but I hope you enjoyed it all that out there in YouTube land, and we'll be back in a bit. Bye-bye.